Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna and I'm a recent master's graduate from the Material Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or with tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. Now let's get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question number one. Sorry, asks, what are delocalized electrons? Okay, so delocalized electrons. are electrons in a molecule or ion or solid metal that are not associated with a single atom or covalent bond. Okay, so realistically, when we have electrons that are in like a, an ion that is negatively charged, or when we have like double bonds in a structure, they don't really like stay uh, put in that one uh, location. They tend to move around. And that's where we get the term delocalized electrons. So for example, let's say we had different resonance structures. And we had this nitrate ion. Like that has this structure. And we have the two oxygens that are negatively charged. Uh, so these oxygens just don't uh, keep like the positive, the negative charge permanently. They can move around even to the topmost electron oxygen, like so. So it can be on the topmost oxygen. And now this can have the double bond. This one still has a negative charge. And again, the third oxygen can have the double bond. And then these two can have the negative charge. Like so. And same with like a, a benzene. So benzene has double bonds on every other carbon, but it can also be drawn like this, where it's on these carbons. So that's why typically when we draw benzene and when we show that it is aromatic, uh, we, it's easier to just put a circle in the middle, and this tells us that it is resonance stabilized. Okay, so now let's see what the junior tutor said. 
Sometimes, instead of binding between the atoms, electrons freely move around and delocalize themselves to three or more atoms. These are called delocalized electrons. Delocalized electrons form an electron cloud in which all electrons are distributed over a whole molecular atom. They are either pi electrons or electrons unshared from non-bonding electrons, so like lone pairs. Delocalized electrons are also predominant in metal metallic solids because electrons are freely distributed within the surface of the metal, which makes them a good conductor of electricity. As such, delocalized electrons can affect the physical property of a material depending on its type and composition. For example, diamond, despite being an allotrope of carbon, is a good conductor due to the delocalization of loosely bound electrons in its crystal structure. Okay, so this solution is correct.